Hello internet friends. Today we're going to talk about how to clean your brushes after painting with acrylic paint, particularly when you're painting miniatures or tabletop figures or figurines. Uh, first off, what you want to do is you want to get yourself some of this. It's brush cleaner and preserver. This is the master's brand. There's also different kinds. There's speedball, pink soap you can get at the art store. Uh, whatever brand you want. This is the most popular one. This one that I use. Um, not because it's popular, because it works very well. Uh, you can tell uh, that I've used it a lot because this, like, this starts off as a solid white cake of soap and I've cleaned so many brushes that I've made a hole all the way to the bottom. But that's good. This stuff's good and it works. Um, first off, I'm going to show you guys how to clean your cheaper acrylic brushes. This is, a, this is a super cheap acrylic brush and a cheaper and a cheapy acrylic brush. And I'm going to show you how to clean your nicer sable hair brushes as well. Let's do the cheapies at first because I think that's what mo a lot of us use the most. Uh, most at first or you know a lot of the time even if you have nice brushes you're not using them for metals or you know for dry brushing or you know uh washes and stuff so acrylic brushes they're, they're a mainstay of the painter of the especially the miniature painter so what you want to do first so you got some paint in there it's it's um clean your brushes right after you finish painting don't wait till the, the, the that evening or the day after these were just used painting like 10 minutes ago so less than 10 minutes ago um so first you're going to go to sink run them under water for acrylics, acrylics are pretty tough, so you can actually wash them in your hand like this. Run water in your hand, do circles this way, circles that way, back, back and forth in the X and Y axis if you want, like that. You can tell when it's starting to get out there. Make sure you take a look. You're gonna come to your brush cleaner. This is for this kind. If you have the, if you have the hand kind, you're gonna put a squirt in your hand, roll it around, do this, but this is this is for this. What I for, for acrylics, they're, they're pretty robust. I'll get it. And I'll spin it in a circle in each direction. See how that? Look at that. There's there's paint coming out of that right now. Let's see the blue. Do do do. Circle each way. Get a nice little foam lathery buildup. Take some of that lather on your brush. Uh, get your hand a little bit wet, and then go in here and on your hand, just do circles. Just this. Same thing you did with the water. I go x x and y axis, and you circle this way, circle that way. Not too hard. Some people like to do this. You can go in. You can massage it kind of this way. I don't really recommend going in and trying to dig at the ferrule because it's not its not going to do that much. You shouldn't be letting paint dry in your, in your brush in the first place. And if you do, there's there's other stronger cleaners you can use to get that out. But this is just for washing your brush right after you're done painting and you're, you're being a conscientious painter. Uh, take care of your stuff. So work that in, run under water, boom, you're done right there. See? Nice and clean, clean brush. Then when you're done, uh, you're gonna have a little bit of this lather left over, but it's got paint in it. You can wash the lather off, or I, I'll do a bunch. I'll do a bunch of brushes at once, uh, and just use the same lather. It doesn't matter. But you want clean lather at the end because you want to get your 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 brush that you've you know shaken off. You want to take it, do this, just kind of paint like you're getting paint, but you're getting soap into your brush. And here's why: this is this is brush cleaner and restore. So you got a nice little bit of. Um, like a little bit of coating of the of the soap in there. Some people say to use the fold your hand and do that. I, I think that's kind of ridiculous. I just lightly pinch with two fingers and like start at, start at the, the top of the ferrule and then just spin it and bring it out into a tip, reshape the brush. And now when that dries, it's gonna dry into the, you know, into a nice pointed shape. So you're reshaping your brush. Um, do not store your brushes up like this because water will run down into the ferrule and dry and cause problems in there. Don't store them on their side until um, after they're dry. I mean, the best, this is the worst, this is the best, but having them face down where they're dripping is, is the best, best, right? What I like to do, I got one of these at the art, or I think at the Michael's Craft Store. It's the best $10 I ever spent. It holds your brush like this and it drips down and it dries that way. And you can put like 10 brushes in here. You can also use it, you can fill it with um, the fancier, more the stronger, more solventy kind of like a turpentine or brush cleaner. And you can move your brushes down and like dip them in there. I highly, if you do a lot of painting and you care about your brushes, even use cheap brushes from Walmart or Hobby Lobby, get one of these, it's 10 bucks. I think I got this on sale for Christmas for like $7.99, highly recommend. But anyway, that's how you do acrylic brushes. Now let's go on to our nicer sable brushes. This is a Raphael um, 84, what is it? 8404 um, number two brush. I, I This one one of my favorite brushes for painting minis. It's got a nice full, full body on it. It's got a nice tip. I'll put a link to it in the show description or, or the video description, but see it's got some blue paint in it. First off, these are sable brushes. They're more delicate. So you want to be gentler. So what I like, like I said, like I will wash them underwater, but I will, I will, instead of doing the hard circle, I will kind of like do this. I will kind of like, like I'm sharpening, a, a, you know, a butcher knife in an old cartoon on like a, a sharpening stone. I just, I kind of gently do this and I'll do very light, because it's a sable brush and it's, you know, way more expensive. I'll do very light circles in the water like this to get this out. 
Same thing with the silk. I will do the same thing, but I will I will do much lighter. So I will do light, light. I'm barely touching. I'm trying not to bend the brush at all. I'm just gathering up to get that lather. See, and there's blue coming out of it. So that blue, there's even though I just washed it under water, like you saw, there's still plenty in there. Do, do, do. I will usually do this for the sable brushes twice. I'll do it softer, but I'll do it twice. Get a nice lather, get a little bit of water in my hand, and then I'll just kind of, again, I'm doing the same thing I did, but I'm just doing it much softer. A soft, soft, soft thing. Same thing, go in, you can massage it. But don't pull on the brushes you want to, I'm just making very minimal contact like this. Then I'll wash this out. Again, very, I'm, I'm moving it under the water fast, but I'm moving it very gently, barely, barely touching my hand. Same thing, I'll, because I'm doing the same thing, I'll, I'll get the pre-lathered stuff. I'll do this, this way and this way. Get a nice little bit. I'm not going in scraping the ferrule. That's like, I'm not, you know what I mean? Some people do that. With the acrylic brushes, you can get in there and scrape them, get, you know, whatever. But no, with, with the, I'm not acrylic, but with, with synthetic brushes, you can really dig in there and push hard. With the, with the sable and the nicer brushes, be gentle. Treat your brush nice. Same thing. Oh, I actually wash that off. Let me gather a little more. So soft, 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 soft. And then scoop up that lather. And then my hand's already wet. And then I'm just gently, 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 gently. Gently, 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 gently. And then gently rinsing it out. And then I'll pull it sideways. And then twirl it in the water like that. Shake it off. Now this gets rid of this blue. Again, I usually do this in a whole batch at a time. I'm just doing a special for you guys one at a time. Um, and same thing. Just kind of go in there. Paint up. Get some um, soap on your brush. Get it in there. You can see there'll be a nice, you don't want it lathered, but you want a nice little like visibly film, you know, I think. And I do the same thing, just gently from the top of the ferrule, twist it slightly, barely even touching. Get a nice point on it. Put it in my hanger and I'll leave these things. I make sure these dry at least overnight before I put them back, put the cover back, the you know, the clear, tube cover back on them and I'll store them upright then or even sideways on the shelf, but not until they've dried for at least 12 hours, usually 24. Uh, to wrap up, I just wanna show you real quick, for smaller brushes, this is an acrylic, same thing. The smaller brushes you wanna be a little more gentle with because you're gonna, you know, you don't wanna mangle them. Get this out, but I'll show you how quickly I do this when I'm doing it quickly. Get this out. This is a, this is a, a, a synthetic brush, so I'm, I'm being a little more rough, but since it's a smaller size brush, I'm being, more gentle I would than I would with a bigger brush. That's done. Paint this up. Oh. Wasting water, sorry about that. And then I've got my little lather. Give it a nice little spin. Put it in my holder. This is a sable brush, but it's a, it's a one. It's a very small uh, Windsor uh, brush. I'm not even sure it's a real Windsor brush though, because I bought it on Amazon, and a lot of the Windsor brushes you buy on Amazon are fake, so be careful of that. Uh, no, it's, this one works pretty well. The, the number two I have is definitely a fake, but this one is a, yeah, so it's a Windsor Series 7. But see how it's small? So since it's small, I'm going to be, remember how gentle I said to be with sables? I'm going to be extra gentle because it's a small little, little brush, and I don't want to mangle the tip. And again, when I get the thing, I really, with the small ones, I don't even, that, that spin thing, I just do this. I, I, twi I twist it while I drag it across to gather the soap. I don't even jam it in there because I don't want to wreck this thing. Uh, and then I run under water, same thing. I just kind of get a wet hand of water, and I just kind of like do this. This is the one where you want to, you know, probably gently stroke it through the through the brush, uh, you know, the brush a little bit more like this instead of grinding it. And then I'll wash it off, do it again. See, just like that, just like that. My hand's already wet. Just gentle, 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 gentle. But the reason I'm, you can be so gentle is because I'm washing these, I'm cleaning these brushes right after I'm done painting. I'm not waiting an hour or two or overnight, like I said. Um, so that's pretty clean. And then again, just paint, gather some soap. I'm twirling it as I do this, by the way. Just, just gathering some soap so it's all soaked in there. Um, and then just a gentle pinch, pinch and twirl. Just a gentle pinch and twirl. And then I load this into my thing, my drying hanger uh, metal thing. And that's it. I'll put a link to this stuff, to the brushes, to this this drying thing, um, all in the show uh, show des or video description. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, thank you for watching.